print a haiku. <laughs> That's really good. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't see you there. I was just talking to my receipt printer. I know what you're thinking, but this printer uses the Google Assistant SDK to print out text and images based on voice commands. I'm going to tell you just how easy it is to get started with using the Google Assistant SDK to build voice interactive printers, signage, or anything else you can think of. The Google Assistant SDK allows developers to build hardware with the Google Assistant embedded inside of it. Users can talk to it in any supported language, and the Assistant will give a response that can be presented to the user. When you're building a device, there may be certain types of actions that only make sense when you're speaking to a particular hardware device in front of you. In order to support these advanced use cases, we're introducing custom device actions. Custom device actions allow developers to create their own specific set of actions within the Google Assistant interface and allow users to interact with it in a more natural way. You can specify a number of phrases that match, along with a set of standard parameters or custom parameters that you define. For example, you can create a custom parameter of type shape. There are many types of shapes that you can print, like a star or a box. You can define more than one action, such as a second action that prints haikus. You can set up a variety of phrases that may activate your action. Print a star, print the box, show me a haiku. All of these actions are defined in an action package. You can use the gActions tool to deploy them. Your action package can also contain more than one action. To trigger an action, it requires certain query patterns that your users must say. When that happens, you can find the fulfillment. This may include a simple speech response, as well as execution of a callback on your device. Each action can contain parameters, in this case, a shape. A shape can be defined with a particular key, as well as several synonyms. In our application, we will need to add the device model and instance identifiers before each request. When the user utterance matches one of the defined grammars, a custom device action is activated. Your application will receive a structured JSON payload that includes the action to run and all the parameters the user said. From this, you can complete your action. You'll still get all the Google Assistant capabilities and machine learning and natural language understanding. What time is it? And here's a demo of a custom device action. Print a star. I can also say something like, print a handsome person. What? What the heck? That's me. Oh my goodness. That's so nice. I hope this video was helpful to you for getting started with custom device actions. Read our documentation to learn more, join our community to discuss this with other developers, and make sure to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos about the Google Assistant. <laughs>